Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is October 1st, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. So we have a chart here of the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see that they are trading higher by about three points right now to around 1911 and three quarters per contract. Futures were much higher, but they have rolled over. This is pretty typical. So we'll see how this market plays out going forward. But right now, uh, futures up about three points before the opening bell. There are a lot of stocks in the news. Let's take a look at the, the charts here. SRPT, which is Sarepta, I believe. SRPT. There we go. Sarepta Therapeutics. Stock closed at $32.11. It is now trading at $37.16. This is a pretty nice move in the marketplace. I forget what the news is here. You could check it out yourself. I believe it is some positive drug data. Um, but either way, the stock looks strong. It is in an uptrend. It is coming off of the lows. Therefore, the gap up is strong. Right now, it needs to really clear about $37.50 on an hourly chart close, and then it could trade higher. So keep that on the radar. But this is one I would not get in front of on the short side. That looks like a pretty strong gap to me this morning, and it does have upside potential. When I look at the daily chart, that's telling me around $41.75 to $42 would be its upside projected target. So again, it doesn't mean it's going to get there today, but that is looking pretty strong on the chart this morning. So Sarepta with a nice little move, at least at the start of the day. We'll see if it will continue. Again, key level to get through would be $37.50. So if you own it, try your stop loss. If you don't own it, I would simply just sit it out and see what this stock can do in the next couple of days. But right now it is looking pretty strong. Next one up is going to be Celgene. C-E-L-G is the ticker symbol here. Stock closed at 108.17. It is trading a little bit higher at 109.60. I don't know exactly what the news is here. But either way, nice little pop. We'll see if that continues. Biotech has been very, very weak as of late. Today you're starting to see some biotechs perk up. So that could help the market overall. Let's take a look at Sandisk. This is semiconductor play. Stock has been beaten down lately. Today, Sandisk is trading up a little bit higher. I think this is an upgrade out here. So again, closed at 54.33. It is trading at 55.20. Um, to be honest, I only think Sandisk has upside to around $58.50. I have a real hard time seeing the stock go much through that level. So again, SanDisk is holding up, but um, upside doesn't appear to be all that much. Now, I want to take a look at some casino stocks. It looks like Macau game, Gaming numbers went down 33% year to date. That news just came out. So let's take a look at MGM. You can see that stock right now is holding steady. No real action here. Win Resorts. You see that's really kind of holding right where it closed. It's actually upticked a little bit. Las Vegas Sands, there's another one, pretty much holding firm. So all the casino stocks that I'm looking at right now, not really being moved by that news, but be aware that news did come out today. So we'll see how the market plays out going forward. But casino names could be in play. Sometimes when uh, an equity comes out with bad news, it's maybe already priced in. So these stocks could get a bounce, but casino names will be in play. We will be looking at them once the opening bell rings in the intraday stock chat. So again, if you have not done so yet, come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat trading room, and you'll see everything that we're doing. We had some nice trades again yesterday, and we're going to look to keep that going. With that being said, we'll go on to our next stock right here, and we're going to take a look at FCAU, which is Fiat Chrysler, and you're going to see um, they came out with some news. I believe their year-over-year -year sales were up, and again, stock right now is trading at 1321 basically right where it closed so again um, this could have more upside keep this on the radar today uh, Fiat Chrysler um, coming out with some decent reports but again it's only all, all that matters is how does the market trade it out what do the institutions think how are they gonna push the stock and right now it's coming right back down to the flat line but we'll be watching this once the opening bell rings today and we'll see how it plays out let's take a look at uh, PLAY which is I believe is Dave and Buster's Entertainment um, it looks like they did a secondary offering, 6 million share offering. So generally, that will cause the stock to go down. Keep this on the radar. This could be susceptible to downside. Right now, I would watch the $35 level. So secondary offering, I believe, 6 million shares. So um, Dave & Buster's or PLAY, 
um, could be susceptible down to the 35 level. That's where I do see support, so keep that on the radar. Let's take a look at MKC, which is McCormick. And what you're going to see here is, I believe they had earnings. Stock is trading a little bit lower. Right now, it's at $79.99. Just call it $80. Bucks. Closed at $82.18. A level I see here for this stock would be anywhere between $78.30, and 30, $0.25, cents, $0.30. Cents. I like that level a lot. Also, you have a 200-day moving average around $77.65. So there should be a fair amount of support there. If by some chance this stock really sold off, it would be an excellent buy around um, $74.90. So keep that on the radar today. MKC McCormick. Everybody should know it. It is a household name. We are seeing oil tick up today by about a dollar. So when oil ticks up, some of these energy plays that have been beaten down could get a bid. Let's take a look at P10. This is Patterson UTI Energy. Stock is trading at 13.14. Um, this is one that could get a little bit of a bid in the pre-market or once the opening bell rings. So keep that on the radar. BP, I believe, is up already. <clears throat> and you can see the stock trading at $31.37. Closed at 30.56. I believe Total caught a little bit of a bid, TOT. And you see that is trading up as well. That is trading at 45.88. Closed at 44.71. And I believe Lynn Energy, ticker symbol line, is trading also getting a little bit of a bid. So you're getting select energy stocks out here catching a bid, and we'll see how this plays out once the opening bell rings. Again, crude oil is up about a dollar today to 46.05. Gold just turned positive. It is up by 70 cents. It was negative a little while ago. Now trading at $1,116 an ounce. There's not much we're going to do there. But again, if you want to come over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. We're having a sensational 2015, and we're going to look to keep that going. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.